Welcome back to school for the 2024-2025 school year. In fourth grade this year, your child will have three different teachers, and this video is just meant to introduce ourselves to you and your child, and also give you an overview of what fourth grade will look like this year. So I will start off, I'm Mrs. Sauls. Um, on this slide, you can kind of get some background information about me, where I went to high school, college, and where I got my master's. This is now my 20th year teaching fourth grade in Spring Grove, and I do have two sons of my own, Camden, who is going to be a freshman in high school, and Craig, who is going to be a second grader. Um, my husband is Joe, you can see him in the picture, and then just a little bit about us is we have a lot of time together at the beach, camping, and I just enjoy spending time with my friends, family, and reading when I can. Um, we do have three dogs and a cat, and then you can also see my personal, or personal contact information there for email and phone number if you need to get a hold of me. This year, this will be the schedule that my homeroom kiddos will follow. So if they start with me in the morning, you can see in rotation one what they will be doing with me. Rotation two, I will then get Mrs. Slate's homeroom. And then the final rotation, I will have Mr. Snyder's homeroom. Just so you have an idea of what we will be doing in fourth grade ELA this year is we will be really focusing on different genres of books, working on the basic reading skills, and then also adding on. We'll work with comprehension, vocabulary, grammar. We will also do spelling this year as well. I will use interactive journals that we will keep at school to practice note taking and really enhance those skills with the kids. All right, I am Mr. Snyder. I will be teaching your child math this year. Um, as you can see, I uh, also graduated from Redline High School, um, as did Mrs. Sauls. Um, I did have a previous career. Um, you can look at that information on the slide. Um, I got my elementary teaching certificate and master's degree from Millersville University. This is my 20th year um, teaching. Um, during my free time, I enjoy coaching baseball, working out, and spending time with my family. Um, my wife, Christy, she is a nurse practitioner. And I have two sons. Um, they will be a freshman and junior this year. And we just uh, picked up our puppy this past week, and his name is Clyde. Um, again, we're rotating three times, so I have my homeroom first. And then uh, we move on. I have a Saul's homeroom. Um, and then at the end of the day, I'll have Slate's homeroom. And then finally, um, math um, is similar to um, third grade. It's just a step up um, in each unit. Um, but the units should look similar. Um, we start with numbers and operations. Then we move on to algebraic thinking, fractions, geometry and then measurement and data. Throughout the year, um, I will be spiraling the, the material a good bit and provide extra support and plenty of enrichment activities um, throughout the year. I'm Mrs. Slate, and you can see some of my information on this slide. I am a graduate from Spring Grove, and as is my husband, and we both live in Spring Grove as well. Uh, I have my master's degree in special education and my um, bachelor's degree in elementary education. This is my 11th year teaching. I have three little boys that are six, four, and two. Um, I have a mini dachshund, and my husband is also named Joe. Uh, I spend time with my family and friends. We enjoy um, going to the beach. I really enjoy watching documentaries in my free time. Uh, my personal uh, school information is located at the bottom of that slide. Here is uh, my schedule and my rotations. I will be solely teaching guided reading this year. So your child will go through four rotations within um, my classroom. You'll, they'll have spelling and fluency, writing, novel, and an IXL. Uh, the writing is something that I want you to pay close attention to. They will be completing 10 writings this year, and this is something that they work on during class time, but can also be taken home and worked at on at home in addition to school. Every year, um, there are some kiddos who just find this a little bit more challenging, but I will be there to support them um, this entire year. But it is something that they can work on at home if they so choose. I will also be teaching 
science this year. Um, and here are our units. We will um, look at structure function, um, investigating waves, energy transfer, and earth processes. And we will also be tapping into a little bit of social studies as well. So this is going to cover the regions of the United States, um, some historical events within those regions. And then at the end of the year, we do an Oregon Trail simulation with the kids, um, and they always enjoy doing that. This is just to give you an idea of on all three of our educational practices and philosophy on education. We feel like it's really important that our students understand that we learn through making mistakes and that it's okay to make those mistakes. We encourage the risk taking that goes along with that. Um, we know that students learn in very different ways, therefore we do really try to adapt our instruction to make sure that all students' needs are being met, whether that be through hands-on, cooperative groups, connecting to real life, anything that we need to do to help your child succeed. We work on guided instruction to help meet the students' needs and small group interventions as well. Our whole goal is to make sure these students will be creative, problem solvers, that when it's time for them to handle situations on their own, they will have no problem whatsoever. Your student will have homework this year. Um, we feel like it's important just to give them some extra practice at home, and that way you can also see um, what they're working on um, during the school day. Um, in ELA, you're going to see spelling homework, it's like cycle homework, um, and then also a weekly assignment. And then in math, um, there's going to be daily assignments, Monday through Thursday. Uh, we are flexible uh, with our homework, so if, if, if you, know, you have a busy night or something's going on, just please send us a seesaw message or write us a note and let us know, um, and we won't count that against them. And of course, the assignments will never be graded. Um, again, it's just for practice. Um, Mrs. Sauls and I will be checking the homework um, and then just, um, again, giving your student feedback on, on how they did and if they needed um, any um, corrections or anything like that. We will be following Project Team once again this year. Your child should be pretty familiar with all of these characters that we've discussed throughout um, their time here at New Salem. So we have Lamar, Harper, Paco, Amelia, and Ruby, and they all exhibit different characters that we want, or different character traits that we want the students to exemplify while they're here at school. Uh, they'll earn tokens for their behavior, and we'll have different rewards throughout the year as we meet those goals. Uh, each teacher probably has different rewards within their classroom, as well as school-wide rewards. All right, specials, as you can see, here's your special schedules. Um, it, it's a little confusing because if you look at your um, homeroom teacher, that's actually not, um, or it, it might be different than what your child's actually going to. So you will have to look at your child's third rotation teacher. Um, that teacher will be taking um, the students to special. So for example, um, I will be taking Mrs. Slate's class to special. So you would want to see, um, look at my special schedule for your child. Um, so for Mrs. Slate's room, for example, she would have uh, music day one, day two wellness, day three art, PE, and then library, then finally bonus. Just some information we would like you to be aware of is just assessments that will occur throughout the school year. In ELA, the students will be taking what's called a TDA benchmark assessment. These are text dependent analysis. Um, assessments that they will do. We only do it in the fall and the winter. These are basically an essay type of assessment and we will work throughout the year on making sure the students are able to do this. By the end of the year they can, the beginning of the year is a little rough, but we will get through it. Um, as the year continues on, we will take a cadence and maze assessments in the fall, winter, and spring and the students will do that in both ELA and math. We also have the PSSA that we work towards getting ready for towards the end of the year. In math, they will have district unit assessments and also IXL benchmark tests. And in ELA, your child will do cycle assessments every other cycle so that we don't overwhelm them with those tests. And just some FYIs, as per usual, um, we 
we'll do uh, pick up from the back doors near the cafeteria. Uh, when picking your child up, please remember to park in that parking lot um, out back. Also, please make sure to let the office know by two o'clock. Uh, if you will be picking up, if your child will be a car rider, you can send an email, you can send a note in, whatever works best for you. Um, dress code shoes. Um, on the playground, we uh, prefer your child to be wearing closed toed shoes on the uh, chipped areas. For door security, when you come to pick up your child early or for any reason, um, we ask that you ring the doorbell and wait there outside for as much safety as possible for our students. Uh, food policy is as it has continued to be. Unfortunately, we cannot uh, have any outside food uh, to give away for snacks and stuff like that in the classroom. If you would like to provide snacks for your, the students or do birthday baskets, those can all be ordered um, via the My School Bucks on the district's website. And if you have any questions, we can absolutely help you with that. We are always appreciative of classroom donations. We all have classroom wish lists, things that we would um, need in the classroom are always tissues, hand sanitizer, expo markers. Uh, post-its, just your normal um, classroom supplies. But if there's anything specific, please reach out. Uh, the district policy is no handheld pencil sharpeners, which is perfectly fine because we all have pencil sharpeners in our classrooms. Students will be receiving new iPads this year. and um, They will have track pads on them as well as a keyboard. Uh, to go along with that, Sending your child with some headphones or earbuds is always a great thing for them to keep in their book bag, uh, especially for writing time and um, any IXL time that they might be doing. These are, need to going, are going to need to have a USC port or need to be Bluetooth. The regular headphone jacks will not be, um, will not be able to be used for these iPads. Um, through Seesaw, um, we are going to have you sign up at back to school night. And if you can't make it, that's fine. We'll have that in your um, in your back to school folder that your child will bring home. Uh, we will all be connected on Seesaw and that's how we can communicate best with you. Uh, on there, you'll see a monthly calendar as well as your student will get a monthly calendar. And that will have their um, special schedule on and their homework and all of that stuff so you can they can keep it in their folder. You can put it on their refrigerator. If you want more than one copy, please let us know. We have no problem sending more than one home. Uh, Reflex and IXL is something that you're going to see your child working on a lot this year. And last but not least, on FYI about our science fair that we will host mid-May, um, we look or mid-March, I'm sorry, we look forward to um, having your student prepare a science fair project and just exhibit them to uh, all of the community and their peers and other teachers. More information will come with that later on in the school year. If you have any questions, please reach out to any of us. We look forward to seeing you at back to school night and look forward to having your child this year in fourth grade.